Hey guys, happy Saturday, 6.45 a.m. and I am at the grocery store. I am here to do my grocery haul for the week. I have quite a few things to get and let me tell you how excited I am about my upcoming meal plan. Now, I don't work on Monday or Tuesday, but I'm still going to prep for the entire week because I'll just eat my pre-planned food those days. It really just makes my life a lot easier, takes the guessing out, takes the chance of going off plan out, and it just makes it easier. So I'm going going to gather all of my groceries here at the grocery store and then I'll go home and I'll share with you my grocery haul for the week as well as what is on my meal plan. So if you want to see what I have in store for you, all you have to do is stay tuned. Let's jump into this grocery haul. So the first thing that I picked up is another container of the sugar-free Italian sweet cream coffee creamer. This is my very, very favorite. I love this coffee creamer. I use it pretty much every single day. I also grabbed a big container of egg whites. I'm going to start incorporating a little more egg whites, so maybe having one full egg and then compensating with some egg whites just to get that little bit of extra protein but a lot less calories. Egg whites are typically only about 20 calories uh, versus 70 calories of a regular egg. And I know eggs are zero, but I thought it might be nice just to add in some egg whites. I grabbed some reduced fat buttermilk. This is so I can make the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. I've made this several times in meal prep, but I am going to go ahead and make it again, and I'll show you how to do that. Super easy, super, super delicious. Of course, I grabbed another can of fat-free Ready Whip. I always have to have this on hand, especially for my Smart Cake Parfaits. I was wanting some cottage cheese, so I grabbed some low-fat cottage cheese. I like to have this as a snack with some croutons, everything but the bagel seasoning or some fruit. Love cottage cheese. I also grabbed another container of the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter Light. We were just about out. This is our staple butter that we have in our house. Light shredded cheese. This is for a couple of upcoming dinner recipes. This cheese is pretty low points. I like the Trader Joe's shredded mozzarella the best, but this is nice to have on hand if you're wanting some orange and white cheese. I grabbed the Oh That's Good original mashed potatoes that are made with potatoes and cauliflower. This is for an upcoming recipe. These are a lot less points than the refrigerated mashed potatoes, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Honestly, you can't even tell the difference. So that is for an upcoming recipe. Grabbed lots of eggs, happy eggs, which you know are my all-time favorite eggs. And then the Vital Farms were on sale for $4.99, and these were $4.99 as well. So I grabbed two dozen eggs. I plan on eating quite a few eggs this next week. Center cut bacon, my very favorite, is the private selection. I like this one because you can have two slices for one smart point. And this is for, of course, an upcoming recipe. Some diced ham. This is another thing that we usually have on hand uh, always. I love the diced ham. It's easy to throw into breakfast, lunch, put on salads, put in eggs. Really just an easy, very versatile thing to have on hand. Of course, I grabbed some Olay wraps. This is for an upcoming recipe. I'm going to be making, I'm really excited about this, some quesadillas, some copycat quesadillas for my lunches. So I needed the Olay wraps for that. I grabbed the Tazo Passion Tea. I'm going to be making the copycat Passion Tea Lemonade from Starbucks. I got this idea from Jess over at WW Journey to Healthy. She has a fabulous YouTube channel, so make sure you check her out. But I needed the Passion Tea for that. And then I also needed the Crystal Light Lemonade. Make sure you get the pitcher size packets of the Crystal Light. So we're gonna mix these two things together. You guys will see this in meal prep. And this makes such a delicious summertime tea. Yum. And then I grabbed... Sorry, turn you on. I won't turn you. I grabbed some more of my frozen natural organic chicken breasts. Loving these. Love that there's no rib meat. So, so good. Very high quality, delicious chicken breasts. 
Back up front, I grabbed some shaved steak. I again saw this on WW Journey to Healthy on Jess's channel. I grabbed this, I'm gonna throw it in the freezer because I think I'm going to be making some Philly cheesesteaks possibly in the next week or so for dinner. So I just grabbed it while I was there, it was on sale and I'm gonna throw it into the freezer. These were also on sale. You can see I grabbed three packages. These were on sale for $1.99 a pack. And this is the Johnsonville Smoked Turkey Sausages. These are only three points a link. So not bad at all. And I thought these would be great to have on hand for recipes or even just to throw on the grill for a quick, easy weeknight or weekend dinner. Again, $1.99 for a pack was a steal. So I grabbed three packs. Picked up another roll of my mild Italian chicken sausage. You guys know I really, really like this Insernio's brand. I need this for an upcoming recipe. Super low points, super, super low points. And then I grabbed two more packages of the organic chicken breast tenders. I'm really liking these tenders. And as you know, I remove that weird white thing that's in the tenders. The chicken is just better, it's softer, it's juicier. So I've been really enjoying the tenders. And as long as you remove the white thing, they are delicious. So I grabbed two packs of that. Lots of canned goods. I grabbed some whole baby carrots just to have as a side dish. Cut green beans, these are for my dogs. I've never seen this extra green green beans. Not really sure what that means, but these are for my dogs. They get these at the dinner table instead of scraps. I also picked up sliced carrots, again, for a side dish. Petite diced tomatoes for a recipe light kidney beans for a recipe. These are roasted red peppers. These are also for a recipe. These are zero points. Now, if you get the roasted red peppers that are in water, they're zero points. So you can see that mine here are just in water. So I count these as zero. Just be careful not to get the ones in oil. And then I also grabbed a can of pinto beans for a recipe, tomato sauce for a recipe, and baked beans. Now I had to do some digging on these baked beans because they are absolutely loaded with sugar. So this is the brand in the flavor that I found that had the least amount of sugar and this still has 12 grams. So of course the points are here on the screen, but I'm using this in an upcoming recipe and I think I only needed 10 ounces and this can is the small can and it is 16. I also grabbed panko breadcrumbs. This is for a couple of upcoming recipes. And then I thought for a sweet treat on hand, I would pick up some cherry and orange popsicles. These are typically fairly low points. They're only 45 calories per pop. And each pop, well, it does have 11 grams of sugar. So that's a lot. I don't know that I'll eat these, but my husband definitely will. And these were on sale for 99 cents. So I grabbed those. Now we're moving on into produce, guys. So we've got bananas for snacking and for recipes. And then check this out. These, you guys, are radishes. These are seriously the hugest radishes that I've literally ever seen in my life. I was like, are these are these good like is it normal that these radishes are this large so comment down below let me know if it's because they're finally in season that they're ginormous but i thought it was interesting how large these radishes are i also picked up some petite melody potatoes this is for an upcoming recipe mushrooms i actually need this for two recipes so i grabbed a big package of those two stems of green onions for salads and for recipes. Speaking of salads, I grabbed a big container of baby spring mix. We're gonna be having some salads which are with our Skinny Kitchen Ranch as a side for this next week. And then lastly, I grabbed some strawberries. So that's all of my food. Let me show you what I grabbed that was a phenomenal deal for some drinks for this upcoming week. So look at this, Snapple was on sale for $1.99 a six pack. So I grabbed some Diet Peach Tea, all of these are zero points. I picked up two packs of the Mango Diet Tea and two packs of the Half and Half Diet Snapple lemonade iced tea really excited a dollar 99 a six pack so all of this was ten dollars which is amazing for five six packs of snapple now stay tuned for what's on my meal plan for the upcoming week
So let's jump right into this week's meal plan. Of course, I'm using my Carrie L meal planner. I'm obsessed with this. You know this. I love, love, love my meal planner. I do have a link down in the description box. Click the link, enter the code, save yourself 10%. You cannot go wrong with this meal planner. So we'll go ahead and open it up. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, I love it. I definitely use the meal plans tab the most. So when you are planning your meals for the week and you can even plan out entirely for the month, you do have a monthly meal planner. So this is May. So I do write in what I'm planning to make each night for dinner so that I can plan ahead the night before, pull out any meat that's frozen or any frozen items that I need to thaw for the next day. So. I am a big proponent of the monthly meal planner. And then of course I do use the weekly every single week. You can go ahead and enter the dates and what meals you have planned for the week as well as your grocery list. I love that the grocery list is fully detachable so it comes right off and you can make a list and take it with you to the grocery store. So this is this week's meal plan. You can see I did use the detachable grocery list. So let me jump right in show you what's on this week's meal plan. So my weeks go from Saturday to Friday. I use my weeklies on Saturday, so you can see that today we are planning to go out for dinner. Tomorrow I'm going to be making baked beans and smoked sausage. This sounds so good. It reminds me of camping, and for some reason I really wanted some camping friendly vibe kind of meal, and then we'll pair that with some vegetables. On Monday, I'm going to be making loaded air fryer potato wedges. You guys, this sounds delicious with some chicken tenders that I'll probably marinate. I'll show you that, of course, in the recipe, and we'll pair that with some vegetables. On Tuesday, I'll be making Instant Pot Meaty Italian Pasta. This too sounds so good with some veggies. Wednesday is my first day back to work this week, so it's going to be crazy, which is typically my late night as it is, so we'll have leftovers. Thursday, I'm going to be making air fryer steak bites and mushrooms. I cannot wait for this, you guys. And those little mini potatoes that I bought, I'm going to toss those into my air fryer along with some veggies. And then, of course, on Friday, we will have leftovers. So let me flip this over because this is where I track my meal prep. So in meal prep this week for breakfast, I'm going to be making baked oatmeal. So I'm excited to show you guys that recipe with some eggs. For lunches, I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna be making Copycat Outback Steakhouse Alice Springs Quesadillas. I'm gonna pair that with some refried beans and some veggies. Stay tuned for meal prep for this, you guys. Delicious. And then I'm going to be making some chocolate peanut butter brownies for dessert. You don't want to miss out on this as well because you are going to die when you see how low the smart points are for a chocolate and peanut butter brownie. So this is what's on my meal prep for the week. So again, my Carriel meal planner, that my friends is my meal plan for the upcoming week. Take advantage of my 10% off down in the description box and get yourself a Carriel meal planner. Love, love, love it. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good groceries, healthy, delicious food that I picked up for the week, and of course, seeing what my meal plan is as well. You will be seeing all of my breakfast, lunches, and dessert and meal prep along with the Skinny Kitchen Ranch, and then all of the other meals you will see in upcoming videos. So definitely, if you're new, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. You don't wanna miss out on any of these fantastic recipes. I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this week's meal plan and grocery haul, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye, guys.